Well, it's definitely one way traffic walking down this corridor. Oh, that smells so good. G loves trains here. I'm just outside of London Paddington. It's quite late actually. It's way past my bedtime at this point. But I am here tonight to ride all the way to Penzance on board one of GWR's Night Riviera sleeper trains. I'm super excited for this. Let's get in the station. So alongside the ticket I'm riding on tonight, I did get a cabin supplement which grants me access to the first class lounge here at Paddington. So I'm gonna go and find that and chill in there for a bit whilst I have a few hours before the train departs. So I'm just gonna find, I think it's on platform one. Thank you. Are there any showers I can use as well? Yeah, you want to now? Oh, it's very hot in here, but because there's no showers on board the sleeper train, you can actually have a shower at London Paddington whilst you wait. I did ask when I came into the first class lounge about it and they led me through to the showers and gave me two little towels. They're hardly going to cover my body, but um, we'll give it a go. <laughs> So in this shower room then we've got a sink, got a toilet, some toilet roll and the shower. At first I honestly was like, how do I open this door? But it's already open. And here it is, the walk-in shower. And we've got some hair and body shampoo here as well. I figure out how to turn the temperature up and though it was pretty cold but uh, I feel a, a lot more fresh now because I was quite sweaty actually stepping in here because it was really hot. Shower at London Paddington, completed it. There's even a hairdryer out in this bit. I was just sitting on one of the higher stools over there but I've moved over next to the window so I can see when our train pulls in but more to the point there are plug sockets here so I can charge my phone up you can help yourself to food and drink in here I've got myself what I thought was an apple juice I think it is an apple juice and some oat biscuits and these actually remind me of my old job and a super shiny apple and by the way, the bit where Queen Victoria used to wait is closed off. Otherwise, I would have gone and had a look in there as well. Okay, they brought out some more stuff now. I'm just gonna eat snacks to try to keep myself away. <laughs> of the train has commenced at half past 10. Departure is only at quarter to midnight so we do have over an hour to get on board and settle down. I'm just making my way down to the coach that I'm in tonight and I am very happy about the letter of this coach. It is coach G. I'm walking all the way down that end thinking it's down there. It's actually at the other end. <laughs> I am in room, well, 19 slash 20. There are two numbers on the door because basically the lower bunk is berth 19 and the upper bunk is berth 20. But just to clarify this, because it was a bit confusing when I booked the ticket online, if you're traveling on your own, you do get solo occupancy of the room. The room is yours and yours alone. You will not be sharing with a stranger or anything like that. If you're traveling with someone else, they will set up the upper bunk for you. But obviously I'm on my own, so lower bunk it is. Just bearing a chat with a lovely host who's looking after us all in Coach G and they told me that they're going to come and give me a wake up call at 7 o'clock and they're going to bring me a coffee and a mystery vegan box so um, I look forward to that. Right before I check out the room I'm going to go and grab myself a drink. Better check if this key card works first as well. Yep yeah, it does. Just making my way down the narrow-ish corridors there are four coaches of cabins. There is a dining car, which is where I'm off to now. And then there's two coaches full of the standard seats. Uh, 
the doors to this carriage open so quickly it actually makes you jump. I'm just having a coffee before bed. Yes, I do sleep after drinking coffee. This was free by the way, as was all the other stuff I've just been given, even though I can't actually eat half of it. But anyways, I'm just gonna drink this and then head back to the room because it is quite busy in there. I'm back. Let's check out this room. First things first though, it's really hot. I need to cool this temperature down. <laughs> All right, starting at the back of the door, we've got some uh, hooks for any items of clothing you wish to put on them. Uh, we've obviously got the door handle and I think this is a lock, but to be honest, I'm turning it and nothing's happening. We've got some, uh, some railings up here. Not entirely sure what this is to be honest at first i thought you had to put your key card in to uh, power the room off and again what this is at the side of the bed i have absolutely no clue next up is the bed it is a single bed we've got two pillows on top of it we've got this did you sleep well little uh, card thing and the little hand towel i've heard a lot of people say that the beds on here are very narrow so i'll let you know what i think of mine when i line it in a bit we've got some luggage space underneath the bed got a little reading light here uh, this is a room service button i better not reach my hand up in my sleep and click that accidentally and then we've got the light switches got a power socket usb ports one of these odd contraptions again here and then there's a replica of all that up for the top bunk there's that temperature control again so the more blue the colder it is and the more red the warmer it is yeah we definitely don't want that <laughs> Next to the bed there is a litter bin and here if I take off all of my stuff there is a bar of soap on top of there as well that you get you lift this up here and your own personal sink is revealed I love this GWR branded blind Just uh, give me a moment to figure out how you pull this up Okay that took me way too long <laughs> And at current time we've got a view of a bench with pallet and burr on it and in fact, we can see patterns under there as well. I'm guessing this up here could be used as some sort of a shelf for the upper bunk. We've got a mirror, yay, I can check myself out. And then here, and the host did have to show me actually how to open this because like with the blind, it was a struggle. You have to just click it in. There we go. Oh, okay, it's actually a wardrobe. We've got two hangers and two little bottles of water. And I'm thinking, oh yeah, two plastic cups as well. And then finally over on this bit we've got an interconnecting door so if you do want to join up rooms with anybody you can do that. We've got another mirror and I was intrigued to know what this switch does. I thought it might be the mirror light but it's not. It's um, just some blue light there. I do like this sparkly strip thing here. It kind of gives outer space vibes. And that takes us the full 360 back round to the door. I will say as well, I love the carpet. There is a really cool pattern on it. It is great that they let you board the train so early though, because it does just enable you to settle down and chill without all the rushing about. Oh my days, I've just noticed even the linen is GWR branded. We departed Paddington at 23.50, five minutes late, but no doubt we'll be making that buckle very shortly. And I'm actually really awake right now. Some people might say it's because I've just drunk a coffee, but it's actually because I'm just buzzing to be back on a sleeper train. And us leaving Paddington is actually my cue to get ready for bed. Just walking in my socks down here. There are two toilets located at the end of the coach. Very basic, soap, sink, toilet, toilet paper. What more do you need? A big circle mirror, that's what. I 
I actually don't think the bed is that narrow. I'm actually debating to myself which is narrower, the walkway in the coach or the bed. I don't think I'm going to come up with my answer tonight, so I will sleep on that. I've set my alarm for six and a second one for half six, just in case. I did think it was a bit odd initially that I was lying facing the door as opposed to facing the window, but to be honest, I've got used to it in absolutely no time at all. Right, nighty night, sleep tight, don't let the light up there, that won't switch off. Bye. Ah, it's that one. Good morning. I've woke up naturally just before six o'clock and I have to say I have just had one of the best night's sleep ever. I wish I could sleep on a train every night. It's just so relaxing with that sort of rocking back and forth motion. I'm also really eager right now to see what's out of the window. Okay, we can't see much. It's pretty dark. Well, I say much. I can't really see anything. I'm trying to connect to the Wi-Fi, but it's not working for some reason. Couldn't get IP address, that's the reason. Oh well, it's not like I need to hang on my phone anyways. <laughs> Ooh, station, where are we, where are we? Liskiard? Never heard of it, but it's in the southwest somewhere. <laughs> I figured these little contraption things on the wall are to do with connecting the upper bunk but they're also great to be used as a camera battery holder Right, it is ten past seven, we're currently sitting at Truro and I'm very excited to see what's in my vegan breakfast box. Well, first of all, I've got this, which I thought, what on earth is this? But it is actually, uh, where is it now? A vegan vanilla crown. And this is the box here. Honestly, this is like Christmas, but better. So inside the mystery box, there is a tub of pineapple pieces. Mm. Strawberry and blueberry fruit bites. Some white sugar, a spoon and a napkin. And a coconut bar. I am very happy with the look of this. And then I'll have, of course, my cup of coffee as well. With my oat milks. These are the ones you find at Weatherspoons as well. The ones that are really difficult to squirt out. May have just had a shower of pineapple juice. <laughs> It is lightening up a bit out of the window now, so hopefully we'll be able to enjoy some views of Cornwall. I'm currently just trying to get bits out of my teeth from eating those dried fruit bits. When you're on the night Riviera, you put your knickers on your head, you put your knickers on your head, you put your knickers on your head. When you're on the night Riviera, you put your knickers on your head and you shout, Squishy Babies! Just passing by St Michael's Mount, which does mean that we are on the approach into Penzance now. The last thing I've got to do is get all this free stuff into my bag. The soap, waters, the cups. Those, I believe, are the only slam doors left on any train in the UK. After eight hours and nine minutes, well, we're five minutes late into arriving into the station then, we are here in Penzance at the southwest tip of England. It is a bit rainy. Um, like at London Paddington, you do have access here to showering facilities and there is a first class lounge. You can go and sit in for a bit if you wish to do so upon arrival. Despite the weather, I am going to have a walk down to the coast. I think there's a beach down here. <laughs> I can smell the salt from the sea. Nothing like being on a beach first thing in the morning. Honestly, I am feeling so refreshed right now. Like, 
even though I didn't get to bed till quite late. I slept so well on that sleeper train. So to ride the night Riviera last night, it cost me £144.20 with a rail card. And I did only book the ticket like several days ago, nearly a week ago. And to be fair, for that price, I've just eaten the best vegan food I think I've possibly ever had on a train. When I did the Caledonian sleeper last year, I did get a lot of recommendations to check out the Night Riviera as well. I'm very happy that I have ridden that and therefore I have also ridden both of the sleeper trains that run in the UK. Thank you very much for watching everyone. Bazzy bye!